Pictured here, you can see the Great Seal of the Navajo Nation and the Navajo Nation flag. The current population of the Navajo Nation is 399,494, possibly making the Navajo Nation the largest federally recognized tribe in the United States. Hogan, traditional dwelling and ceremonial structure of the Navajo. Early Hogans were dome-shaped buildings with log or occasionally stone frameworks. Once framed, the structure was then covered with mud, dirt, or sometimes sod. Navajo is spoken primarily in the southwestern United States. It is one of the most widely spoken Native American languages in the U.S. today. During World War II, the government used a code based on the Navajo language to use as a secret communication. These code talkers would relay secret messages using the code. At the end of the war, the code remained unbroken. Navajo artists are famous for the colorful woven rugs and turquoise jewelry. They also made southwestern pottery, coil baskets, and sand paintings. Navajo rugs and blankets are textiles produced by Navajo people of the Four Corners area of the United States. Navajo textiles are highly regarded and have been sought after as trade items for over 150 years. Commercial production of handwoven blankets and rugs has been an important element of the Navajo economy. In this video, you can see a Navajo woman carding sheep wool to make yarn. You can also see how the rugs are woven into complex designs, which can take months to complete. The wool is dyed with natural dyes made from plants and other natural elements. The size of the Navajo Nation is compared to the size of the state of West Virginia. The geography of the Navajo land is characterized by arid deserts and alpine forests with high plateaus, mesas, and mountains reaching as high as 10,500 feet in altitude. The Navajo woman's traditional style of dress consists usually of foot or knee high moccasins, a pleated velvet or cotton skirt, a matching long sleeve blouse, concho and or sash belt, jewelry, and a shawl. Men also wore jewelry, moccasins, and preferably a velveteen shirt. Sheep also became a form of currency and status symbols among the Navajos based on the overall quantity of herds a family maintained. In addition, women began to spin and weave wool into blankets and clothing. They created items of highly valued artistic expression which were also traded and sold. Navajo men used bows and arrows, both for hunting and battle. They also used spears as weapons, and the points or tips of both spears and arrows were made, out, were made of stone. They also made stone knives, axes, and saws. Weaving tools such as sheep shears, spindles, combs, and various rods were also widely used by the Navajo. The Navajo are known for their wide use of mutton or sheep, which can be eaten alone or in stews like the one pictured here. Fry bread is a flatbread that's fried in oil, shortening, or lard. Several tribes have their own variation on fry bread, but most Navajo-inspired fry breads are made with flour, water, and salt. It is most often made with bluebird flour, which is pictured here. Other widely consumed foods are corn and other vegetables, which the Navajo farm themselves. In this video, you can see a Navajo woman making fry bread over an open fire, which is how the Navajo traditionally make foods such as fry bread and their mutton.